and welcome to the Irresistible Marketing Pod, the podcast that will show you how to make offers that they can't refuse, and then keep them coming back for more. I'm your host, Isa Gauchi, your marketing confidence cheerleader and owner of the M. Isa Messaging Digital Marketing Agency. Please excuse the rooster in the background. It's a little confused because it is about 4.30 p.m. right now. Anyhow, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite ways to tempt customers to come back again and again. And it's basically just rewarding my best customers and most engaged followers. And really, it's just finding ways to make them feel special and appreciated. Here are the details. So, just because your customers haven't randomly decided to become repeat buyers out of the blue, doesn't mean that they won't if you just give them a good reason to. And before you freak out about this and think this episode is not for you because you have an idea that maybe you don't have enough followers or your email list is too small or whatever, keep listening. We're going to get into that, why this is still a good strategy for you, even if you think your following is small. All right, so I want you to picture the companies that have done a really good job over and over again and getting you to spend their, your money on them. And for me, it's companies that tend to be like Sephora, Unique Vintage, and PetSmart, of course, now that I have my new puppy. And one of the things I've noticed is really effective for me as a consumer is when companies that I spend my money on reward me by giving me points so that I get big discounts or free stuff the next time I make a purchase. Or um, like Fenty Beauty, which is another one that takes all of my money, like all of Rihanna's companies or anything she does, because I love her. But anyway, Fenty Beauty tends to offer some pretty nice like gifts if you go past a certain spending threshold that isn't too obscenely high for Fenty Beauty. And that makes me excited and add stuff to my cart so that I can get the the gift as well. Um, And The reason why this is so effective on me and so many other people is because, A, who doesn't love a good deal? Like, who doesn't love a good deal? Like, to feel like they're saving money on something they'd be spending on anyway, and oh my gosh, it feels like Christmas in July, a nice surprise that even though you're going to spend money, suddenly you get a free gift, or it's less expensive than you thought it was going to be. It's a good, it's a good feeling. And also, who doesn't like to be recognized and rewarded for their loyal support? Like, if you do something nice for your partner, don't you want them to, like, heap praise on you and gush about how awesome it was that you thought of them and thought to do that and how much you appreciate them in your life? Like, no different with brands. Like, if you're a loyal customer for years and years, wouldn't it be nice for the brand to show you show you some extra sugar you know what I mean so just because you're a small business owner or a solopreneur that doesn't have a giant marketing team like Fenty Beauty or Unique Vintage or any of these companies above that I mentioned this doesn't mean that you can't similarly pamper your best customers and followers in a way that doesn't you know hurt your bottom line or drain you or wear you out so This can actually be one of the easiest, most effective launches you ever do. So let me tell you a little bit about how I've incorporated this this tactic into my business where it's a, for the most part, solo operation right now, although I do have people I partner with from time to time. And it's a service-based business. So marketing confidence cheerleading, which is like a hybrid coaching and consulting offer, and then uh, marketing services, where I actually do your marketing. And obviously that's kind of a different model than like a, a makeup company or a pet store, but it still works. It still works. And let me tell you how I've been experimenting with this in my service-based business. Um, so one thing I've been trying out for the last year or so is really short-term exclusive sale offers just to previous marketing confidence cheerleading customers or like just to one marketing channel like my Instagram followers and I gotta tell you I really really love doing these sales because a they're super easy 
I have never offered these perks for more than a week, so they don't require much content for promotion. And they can be pretty much spur of the moment since they don't require much prep time. And B, they're super duper effective. If people have been thinking about whether or not to make the investment for a while, there's nothing like an amazing fast acting bonus to get them off that fence. And C, well, because I'm offering these perks to people who have already invested in working with me or are indicating somehow by their interaction with my content that they're, you know, in my corner, I know they already love me. (laughs) The point is that when you do a tactic like this is that you're making these offers to people who have been already indicated that they love your stuff by either buying or being engaged in your content. So when they see in their inbox or across their feed or in their DMs, they're likely to read that message and get excited about the deal because they've already indicated interest, folks. Okay, so how do you find these people that um, you can make these reward offers to and have a good deal of confidence that they are, they already love you, already love your brand, already love your work? Well, in terms of the customers... This is pretty easy. I I bet you know off the top of your head the best customers you've had who you'd like to work with again. And that's it. Great. Done. This is to whom you offer a great deal to work with you again. (laughs) And in terms of your most engaged followers, this one is also easy. It just depends on where you see the highest value in um, follower behavior or content interaction. Just think of which channels you really appreciate engagement on and what kind of engagement means a lot to you. Like, here are a few examples. So maybe it's attendees to one of your free events or um, repeat attendees to free events you've held over time. Or maybe it's the folks that have shared a great testimonial or they've referred others to you. Or maybe they left you a great podcast review with five stars. Or maybe they've posted great stuff about your brand to their audiences on social media and tagged you. Or maybe it's the people who open all of your newsletters and click all of the links. Or maybe it's folks who share your Instagram or Facebook posts like all of the time. Um, You can pick which metrics, these or any others that you see interaction with your content that makes you feel good, that gives you a little pep in your step and decide to reward those folks because why not? Keep sharing the love, pay it forward. Then, so all you gotta do is find this metric that you want to reward and then offer them a great deal to show your appreciation. So let's talk about what's that great deal? How do you make an offer that they can't refuse? So what makes a great deal? Super simple, folks. It's just something to sweeten the deal. My personal go-to is just a major cost savings because adding more into my packages without raising the price just leads me to burnout and resentment. So for me, the easiest, um, lowest effort (laughs) doesn't give me a hit at all um, to like my workload or my bottom line or whatever. My easiest go-to is just get some extra sales in by offering just kind of like an amazing cost savings. You could also like maybe throw in an extra if you want to just be really careful with this except especially my people pleasing recovering perfectionist recovering femmes out there. Um, You're going to be tempted to throw in like a whole nother project in for free but please don't please don't. Um, Your people to sweeten the deal you don't need to overwork yourself or Uh, give other people way too much. So um, be cautious with that one. If you want to throw in an extra, make sure it's an extra that it it does not hurt you in any way to provide. All right. Um, So one way to throw in an extra that I find to be really fun and get people interested is prizes. Prizes can be used to great effect. So this is like kind of like a lottery. So um, like my coach, Sarah Byer, I think she like throws customer names into a hat and then does like a draw at the end of one of her challenges. Um, and this has gotten me to sign up for her programs before because some of those prizes are like, oh, yeah, I want that free one on one or ooh, I want that care package or whatever. But 
you could do a lottery system with prizes and like market the prizes. You could collaborate with other businesses to provide the prizes. And this prize that, you, that buyers could be entered into a lottery to win could be any, anything. It could be anything you want that you think they'd like. It could be like a bonus consultation, a care package. Um, I've had mentors and people I look up to have it be something like essential oil rollers or even cash money prize. Anything that would make a great incentive to people to sign up. But again, you don't want this extra thing you're giving your people to hurt you or any way. So you don't have to offer a prize to everyone. It could just be on a lottery basis if that's easier for you. Just um, the one caveat you want to remember here is that free stuff is only cool if it's stuff they'll actually want and use. So not like some throw away silly garbage that they're just gonna like be trying to find a way to recycle or give away <laughs> as soon as possible like make it something you'd actually want um to receive or would brighten your day to receive or would entice you all right so one of the important things to do for these these sales where you're rewarding loyal customers or um super engaged fan uh super engaged like followers on your social media or other marketing platforms is that you don't want to make these sales last too long. So short and sweet is usually the most effective way to go for these because while open-ended time frames can actually be a form of choice overload for buyers. Remember, it becomes a cognitively stressful task for humans to make a decision when they're faced with too many options. And if the sale goes on for ages, your customers are faced with infinite possibilities for buying this or that, now or later. And when people feel overwhelmed by choosing, they often simply make no decision at all, which is not what we want. So my personal sweet spot for this kind of sale is three to seven days, but do play around to find what yours is. Um, and, and part of this is just as much how long I can keep focused on promoting this sale and keep my energy hyped and be all about it. So it's just as much about me why I keep that time limit really narrow um, because I, I don't have a great sustained attention span for launches just as a human. That's how I'm wired. Um, I like can keep my hype up for like about three to seven days. So um, you could go longer if you can keep your hype up and your promotional efforts up for longer if you want to. But um, I, for me, three to seven days is the sweet spot. And I also like it because then I don't have to wait for long for those late birds to, to jump in on, on that last minute sale. Um, all right. So one of my most effective tactics is to actually offer a super discounted rate to one single person, then raise the price a little bit after each spot is claimed. So that gives folks an incentive to purchase sooner rather than later as well, which I like. I like earlier sales rather than later sales in general. I just want my money now, people. Anyway, for an example of this, you can check out my current spring secret sale for my marketing confidence cheerleading one-on-ones. Um, I started that out. This is normally a like hybrid coach consultation offer. It's like a one-on-one 60 minutes with me where we vanquish whatever marketing block is standing in your way, be it strategic, tactical, or emotional. And like some amazing, incredible breakthroughs have happened in just like a single hour, like planning a full launch, writing a full sales page, um, figuring out a full brand story, like incredible things happen in this. So this is, um, I wouldn't consider this a cheap offer of mine. So an hour one-on-one with my marketing brain is usually $299. And for this spring secret sale, um, I actually offered, uh, to the first person who claimed it, they could have it for $30. $30. $30. So that's like more than $250 off. And then after the first person claimed that one, then the price went up to $40. And then after that one was claimed, $50, $60, etc. etc. Um, and so this sale is a seven-day one. And um spots go fast, y'all. This is the I think this is the second or third time I've tried a sale like this. And people want that crazy deal. So like people hop in, hop in those DMs pretty quickly for this kind of thing. So feel free, um, 
Oh, try to remember to link that specific post where like, I think I literally just have one post about this on my Instagram right now. And um, now the price is up to, I think it's 90, it's either 90 or 100 right now. But I'll try to link that one post I've done so far for this sale in, in my um, show notes, if I remember to. All right. So let's talk about why I love this kind of, to offer this kind of sale and why I've done it two or three times and and why I just love it. So my launches where I'm just rewarding loyal customers or rewarding engaged followers are some of my favorite and most successful launches ever because A, they're super freaking short. So as I mentioned already, I don't have to do a lot of promotional content, which means not much time for planning or content creation is needed at all, all, which is great for me and my my busy schedule and all the clients I'm currently serving and my short launch attention span. And B, I can largely pull from content I've already made to promote the offer since... um, I think I did this the time before I did this was for a soft launch of the marketing confidence cheerleading so that I had to create new content for because I hadn't promoted the offer before but now that I have promoted the marketing confidence cheerleading quite a bit like I have so much content I've made already that I don't have to come up with entirely new content to promote this sale I can just pull from messaging I've already created stuff I've already created and just add in information about how to get in on the fast acting bonus and the sale. And that's all I have to do. So um, I really like that this is so low effort that even for the promotional content I do have to make for the sale, it's I don't even have to come up with entirely new stuff. And okay, I also love this type of sale because I make the offer to people who are already in my sphere, so it it doesn't trigger any of that subconscious beneath the surface, why am I feeling anxious all of a sudden, feeling that that can come from a new level of visibility that my system feels uncomfortable with because it's new and your system... um, might suspect that any new circumstance is a threat even when it's not and your conscious mind is like no this is great I want more sales I want more eyes on my stuff but if you haven't kind of like integrated and and done some um, personal work and some personal healing your system might still be like ah that's too visible ah that's too many new people we don't know how to handle this so this type of sale even though I'm like calling in a lot more a higher volume of sales quicker than my normal sales cycle because I already know these folks for the most part it doesn't really tend to trigger that subconscious visibility fear or discomfort for me and then lastly the reason why I love doing this kind of sale is that since I've done this a few times and it's been successful each time I feel much less stressed out, feels way less uncertain than I have for other launches where I'm doing a big, sustained, drawn-out launch and it, everything's new and people haven't really um, validated or opted it in yet. And because these are repeat customers or this is people who have been like liking everything or opening and clicking on everything, I already feel pretty confident that like they're they're into this. So that's also a nice... like relief of pressure and stress on my system when I'm launching. Um, So I want to throw that out there because yes, even me, the marketing confidence cheerleader, who um, I think pretty highly of my skills in this field, like launching makes me feel vulnerable too. Um, It triggers stuff for me too. I might get some rejection sensitivity too. I have great tools for dealing with these uncomfortable emotions. Um, and I, I have great ways of dealing with this stuff, but like, you know, for everybody, it's not always pleasant to feel vulnerable or scared of visibility or, or or just feel like you've put your baby, baby out for sale and you want to know what people think it's worth. Like, yeah, the, the, this stuff feels vulnerable. So if launching feels stressful or vulnerable, vulnerable for you too, I mean, of course it does. I think most people have some feelings like that during the launch, which is why self-care during any launch is so important. And, and then also structuring your launch to make it as friendly to your system as possible is also a great way to go. All right. 
So, yes, we just talked a lot about how this type of sale to your um, co- past customers and engaged followers is a lot more low effort, a lot more low pressure than other type of launches, which is why it's a, it's a really fun one for me to do. And then also it's it's nice to because if, if you have a higher end service or product and there are more people that can afford it at its usual price that could benefit from it. Um, This is a great way to give them an opportunity to work with you or use your product when they wouldn't normally be able to, which is also, you know, good deed for the world. Good deeds all around. But moving on. um, Yes, low pressure, good deed, good, good stuff all around. But, 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 but Um, you have to tell them a lot more than once what the sale is, what the terms are what the value they're getting is and how long it's going on for and what they have to do to opt in. So you cannot, I repeat, you cannot just tell your folks about this offer once. You do need to keep talking to them. You do need to keep giving them reasons to take you up on your offer. You do need to keep letting them know how big the bonus is and how fast acting. Remember, Only a fraction of your audience is going to see any one thing you post or send. And many people need to think about it or see it at the perfect time when they're not too distracted to buy. So for this duration of your launch, as short as it may be, do try to remind them about it as close to every day as you can. All right, so remember at the beginning how I I promise you, you don't need a big following to do this. I'm going to explain why. I've actually got a pretty small social media following and an even smaller email list because (laughs) guess what? When you're responsible for multiple businesses marketing, sometimes you neglect your own. But last time I did this kind of sale where I made this secret sale to just one marketing channel or, or just to repeat customers, my first spot was claimed in less than two minutes after I announced it. And this time, I've made sales every day, I've promoted it, and people have been claiming spots even though I took a three-day weekend and haven't mentioned the sale publicly since Thursday. And today is Monday. And I even forgot to mention it on my last podcast episode. So that's right. It's a seven-day sale, and I took three days off in the middle of promoting it to my already very small following and you guys, it is still selling. It's still selling. That's why I freaking love doing this kind of thing. And hell, if you're offering a good enough deal, you might even gain followers because you're doing this. So get on your lab coat and start experimenting and then let me know how it goes. Because I am always, always here to remind you that you are never powerless in your business. So if you're going in, if if you're in a bit of a dry spell, Don't fret, this is a great time to try on a great deal for your past customers, for your most engaged followers. You can play with your tactics until you find the stuff that works. And why not start by letting the people who are already in your corner know how much you love and appreciate them and want them to keep coming back. Okay, so that wraps up my informational section for today, but just for real, for real, I do actually have a super amazing sale going on for Marketing Confidence Cheerleading through Wednesday, April 26, 11.59 p.m. And as of now, um, I am offering more than $200 off for that life-changing, business-changing, bottom-line-changing one-on-one with me, which is normally a $299 booking, and that's still a value, folks, for it. But anyway... You can now vanquish your marketing blocks with me for just $90, just more than $200 off. But if and only if you're the first person to claim that spot. So if you want that $90 spot, more than $200 off, all you got to do is DM or email me to nab it. And then once that $90 spot is claimed and it's gone after the first person claims it, the price is going to go up to 100 And then after that one's claimed, then it goes to 110 and so on and so forth until either 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday or all the discounted spots are filled, whichever comes first. 
you are free to check out the Marketing Confidence Cheerleading link to see what the hell that is in the first place if you're not familiar with me already or reach out, DM me, email me if you have any questions. Happy to chat to see whether this is the right thing for you. And um, if if you try out this tactic, it, tactic, if you're like, wow, that sounds pretty amazing, um, I'm going to give my loyal customers a an offer they can't refuse, a great deal, or I'm going to reward my engaged followers, like, let me know how it goes. Share your journey. Tag me on Instagram at Marketing Confidence Cheerleader or on TikTok at at Confidence Cheerleader. And let me know how it goes. I'm super curious to hear it.